Radiant Team Pick. Good against Sven, and then a Templar Assassin as well. Feels like this armor from the Sven is going to be super valuable. It's a very good armor game. Um, at the same time, though, VP have two heroes that could go. Oh, wow. He goes down in the mid lane. Lil comes in. All five of those heroes can initiate in some way. Even Warlock does have that uh, Chaotic Offering. To Solo throw is in a lot of trouble. He has TP on cooldown. He's actually dead. Yeah, he's going to be run down by OP pretty easily. Thought that maybe, you know, venture out to that off lane while the Magnus is uh, away. See if he can get some solo experience and pick up his level 6. Fortunately, of course, Rams is out of lane again. Seems once again to be something IG put solo? a lot of Do you really on. want to just TP boldly like that? XXS is in a good position to be able to dive the tower. They're going to try and chase him down, but the Kinetic Field is going to block out any further pursuit. Now he's going to be jumped on by Ramsey. Eh, Pasha does manage to land the RP, but he's still very tanky thanks in part to the hood. He's going to be body blocked up, and it looks like the physical damage is barely going to be enough to finish him off. Virtus struggle to see uh, whether or not VP is going to be able to actually pick up that early Aegis. That is sort of a requirement for their lineup. XXS is going to be glimpsed back here into the Static Storm. Does have that uh, utter defiance, but the physical damage from no one. Makes it a whole lot easier for them to be able to get that kill. Again, Q also going to be caught here. Pasha has been pretty on point with his... And IG, instead of getting the pickoff that they're really hoping for, instead, they're going to try and push this tower. RVP going to contest this time around. OP, well, he may force it out of them to jump in. Looks like they're going to be able to get the epicenter off onto Solo. Didn't have the static storm, but a nice relocate out from Lil. Saves his fellow support. Maybe VP can reinitiate. We'll see. They get a little bit of new damage coming out from Pasha there. Shockwave. Everyone's full healed up now by the healing ward. The tower, just a sliver of HP. And IG, they no longer have that ultimate from Burning. They're going to glimpse it back into the Static Storm. Pasha tries to go over the skewer, misses, but they are going to be able to take out Burning. Now it's up to Ramsey to try and come in and finish off OP. OP does a remnant jump away. Unfortunately, the Omni Slash doesn't follow him in. OP still has some magic damage to deal with. A missed shot. No, it's not going to be enough. No one goes up. Four next. XXS in deep. Pasha once again. This big Rhinoceros. He's all over the body blocks. XXS fortunately did have the Sandstorm. It gives a little bit more of a space, but no one's there. Gets the Melt Strike. The ultimate Chaotic Offering drops far too late. That's going to be a huge waste. And even Bulbica caught out inside the Sentry, trying to run him down with spin. Barely stays alive. Bird game one all over again, where it's just IG have to realize they just can't contest. Not without their big team fight ulti. They're all on cooldown now. VP are actually going to smoke up. They go in deep. They manage to get the skewer back on burning. What a play from Pasha. That opens up everything. VP and with uh, aggressive. Aggressive relocate simply because of the counterplay potential that the IG lineup has. Oh, Glimps again. There, does manage to catch Q. He tries to get out of Static Storm, runs himself away, but is not going to be taken out. Maybe Lil can catch him, get him with the Wisp Balls, or the Urn. Either way, Q is going to fall. No response from IG once again. They just give up that hero. And die. Okay, he actually takes out. OP picks him up. Lil, quite a lot. Did he have a streak? He didn't have a streak. Why is he worth so much? It's only... Oh, all right. Decent net worth lead. Bulbica finds a courier. Actually just pushing into a team that has the Aegis advantage and a super farm TA. So IG... Jump forward here. Oh, XXS does something. catch the Disruptor. Sees a shot from no one. A lot of remnants being used there by OP. He dives in deep. He's going to be caught by an RP. He does have a remnant out, but to see if they can burst him down in time. They do. They bring him down. The Static Storm laid out. Does manage to catch Burning, but Burning lays his hands on two. He gets the Disruptor and brings down the Aegis on the right-hand side. Ramses uses on the Slash. He's going to be chasing down Q. Should be able to pick up that support. XSS turns around. Man, get three, man. Burrow Strike. What a huge play with the buyback on OP. They provide a turnaround, and maybe they can win this fight. No one dropping down fast, but he does manage to bring down Burning. OP will lay claim to that kill though it's a big one too penalty yeah. so it's a lot more gold going their way than if OG uh, OG yep that's the name IG OP oh okay Ramses what are you doing that here that is not good news for VP and a relocate in as well oh boy this is dangerous for VP this could go very very wrong really IG are good. actually in a great position here both cut just outside range of the sentry actually does get spotted though get the thunder strike on him they have they can't glimpse him back but they do have some general vision of where he's going 
kind IG of with the back. Console. Oh, the smoke, and they are immediately going to go back in. Bulbacus going to scout out. Ramsey's here. They're going to get the stun out. No, they actually get the Omni Slash down first. The RP goes down on Burning. They're throwing everything they have, and Q can't actually counter initiate because he's stuck inside the Static Storm. Maybe OP can still fight this one out, though, with Chaotic offering over the top. Can he chase down some of these heroes? They killed one. Here comes XXS. Managed to get the double stun with the Disruptor dropping low. Can it kill Ramsey? Not quite fast enough. The Chaotic offering Golem will manage to take it, though. XXS, no one. He's just going to be able to clean up hero after hero, looks like, as Q unable to make the TP out. They claim four on the side of IG. A very big fight, and I can't believe Soul lived through all of that. Jesus. They're having so high impact in these fights that just forcing him to use Static Storm on, on the Ricky might be good enough. Yeah, especially since you oh, don't have right. BKB on your horse yet. Out, See ya. Bobica. Sniper. Nice. BKB won't save him. It protects him from defusal. Uh, so he can keep his wall cry on. That's actually fairly important. Now, of course, Static Storm, but I don't really think they want a Static Storm to Sven most of the time anyway. They want to catch the back line. Okay, IG want to fight here. No one up, jumps in. No one. He pops BKB immediately trying to threaten OP, but they're going to go on to the back line here. Static Storm actually get to get the relocate out. Great place by the two supports of VP, but Burning is still large and in charge. He does have the BKB. No, he's going to get RP'd and Omni Slash, that combination we just talked about. He dies to it immediately. Three down for the side of IG. Virtus Pro. Even with these great plays. And VP seems like whenever they get this TA on no one, there is a tendency to him getting absolutely out of control. 12 and 1, 19. Whoa! That baby not the blink forward. He gets caught by the skewer. Ramses doesn't right on have the, the Magnus bus. He has the spin, but they're gonna try and catch him. Nice! They got him! The spirits from Lil. Solo sprinting forward, lays down a sentry. Immediately gonna be countered by IG. Oh, they're gonna jump out here. Going for the disruptive, but he managed to get out the static storm that's controlling OP. He may die from this one. The RP gets both cores. Nice setup. The chaotic offering will try and respond, but it's not gonna be enough as no one pops BKB and just runs through those cores. It'll take a support too in the back line. Solar Crest does a lot to be able to prevent him from dying, and now on the second life, they're actually gonna be able to catch no one inside the base. Can he get out of here though? XXS doesn't have the burrow strike to immediately stun him, so no one is going to be able to blink away. Nothing to stop him there. And Epicenter! IG are not careful. Here comes that Epicenter. They managed to get the stun out. Four staff forward. They get a little bit more distance away from burning, and that's critical. They need no one to be able to survive through all this one. He's turning. Tries to go for XXS, but there is no detection here. XXS coming up with another burst strike. Managed to get the two-man stun. Nice blink set up there. They're going to be able to take no one. Maybe they can catch Ramsey too. Ramsey turned around, but an instant sandstorm is going to protect his life. XXS. He caught that open. Can't connect without a TP. All right, it looks like a good read. Yeah, he is going to make the IG. TP here. Bulbacus is going to pop this, but Posture is going to front line. They actually have the counter vision to be able to spot him. If they can stop this RP, it'd be huge. The Chaotic Offering, but a save. Maybe it's not enough, though. He's got the Fatal Bonds on him. They've already killed the, the, the Juggernaut, though. And it looks like a just a sliver of HP. Pasha may survive thanks to Lil's excellent plays. Lil, of course, Sacrificial Lamb, is going to relocate right back to his death. So IG, as you said, X right up. And I think that's the best approach as well. It's it's the most likely way to succeed solo. Oh, oh the stun's miss. doesn't quite catch him here. Solo is actually going to just go for the hold here with the kinetic field, but he's going to be jumped on by Bulbacon. Yeah, friendly force staff does help him out here. Bulbica is going to be caught. Oh, they they goes down. They're going to fight this one out. Burning he immediately goes for Ramses, but a relocate save is out. Now the RP, but a two-man pro strike. XXS opens with this one up immediately. The Omni Slash bounce around, goes to OP. OP going to be locked down by a bash. Can't jump away. Now Ramses jumps forward, actually gets another bash there. On to Q, while well, the stun on to no one. Is that going to prevent him from finishing off burning? One long range shot, another one coming in, and it is enough to finish him off. If he had then maybe burning could have survived off the blink, but he goes down. No one, he wants to force those buybacks. He gets the tier three. He's forced to buy back from OP. Is he going to stick around for long, though? Turns around, Bloodthorn. Onto the Sand King. Yule Scepter is out, and he's immediately going to be perched down. Nice play by Ramses to get the quick kill on the offlaner. OP. He's by himself now against the three-man of Virtus Pro. This could actually just flat out be the end of this game. There's no buybacks. VP pushed really hard and really fast on this. It's at the very least two lanes of barracks. No way they can team fight this without their Sand King. And VP again, the key in this fight. Mag doesn't get spotted. He doesn't get found out. And Ricky dies before getting the ultimate off. Really wanted to use that blink strike, but didn't follow through the tricks of the trade. Fortunately for IG, the tier two is still up, but beep. Burning, 100% health on that one. 
Here we go. God string. No, nope, the jump in. Whoa, what a three man burrow strike. OP is immediately going to jump onto that one. The disruptor's gone, but an RP comes out from Pasha. Locking down two. No, it's actually getting the side plates on both of them. He's killed OP. Can he kill? Burning the sun comes out. No, he can't finish off the big carry of IG, but he does have to retreat. Ramses, the buyback from the Templar Assassin means this fight is over. IG are just going to lose some members here, and they are going to be able to claim Roshan for the side of Virtus Pro. But they didn't get the spin, and that means that IG. Maybe they have one more to stop this push by themselves. They're gonna try the tier three dropping fast. XXS waiting for his opening. Doesn't really see it. The skewer back on to burning. Well, they couldn't afford to be initiated on. They get the four stamp BKB used by burning. And that is going to be Mega Creeps. So if IG, if they're not gonna call GG now, they apparently gonna play this out to the bit of late game, but they're losing tier fours now. The Riki's back up. The Warlock, four seconds, still no Chaotic Offering. Tier 4 is dropping fast. Bobico goes to the back line, immediately Bloodthorn. Is it going to be able to get off his ultimate? The Epicenter goes down, but it's ineffective. Alil is going to be able to get himself away. They managed to kill Pasha. But it's a fair trade-off so far. If they catch no one here, he get does out. not oh. have buyback, but relocate. They need to make sure no one doesn't die twice. Yeah, that could have been a disaster. Strike. Now the, their heroes just aren't following Exorcist in. He's following all by himself. He's not careful. He actually died to Ramses. He gets bashed. He does have a buyback. But the rest of IG were just too far away. So from Virtus Pro, they don't need these shiny baubles. Their eyes are focused on that Aegis. They're going to get the RP. They don't need much. Nice four staff usage there. Skewer misses, and Burning's actually going to pursue, but he jumps into a world of hurt. He just gets on the slash. The chaotic offering is dropped down, but Burning's already so low, and he will die to no one. No buyback there. XXS stop inside the kinetic field static storm combination. OP pulled back to his doom. He has to jump away to the remnant, but it doesn't matter if your throne's going to die. So IG call it. What a sweep from Virtus Pro. If you asked me going into the series what I thought the least likely outcome was, result-wise, this would have been my pick. I really thought IG were going to...